EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. In the last two videos, we showed the basic process associated with setting units, checking units, and then converting between units, and we placed an emphasis on working in the base SI unit system. In the previous videos, EASE was set to its default settings in that it automatically checked your units but it did not try to automatically set them for you. The user was responsible for setting each unit for every variable. It is possible to modify both of these settings. So if we go to the Options tab of the Preferences dialog, you can see here that it's possible to turn automatic unit checking off. Um, if you return to our problem from our previous two videos, which is calculating the mass of this copper rod, here what I've done is I've entered the inputs, I've converted them to SI units, I've put in the equations to calculate volume and mass, but I have not set the units of any of the variables myself. And as a result, when I hit solve with the default ease setting, I'll bring up this ease solution window, and it shows right away that there are some unit warnings. So ease has automatically checked the units when I selected solve. If I go to the options tab of the preferences dialog and I turn this feature off, um, then we go back to the equations window and solve and what you'll see is that in the solution window there are no warnings anymore because Ease has not checked uh, the equations when I hit solve. And now the only way that Ease will check the units of the equations is if I explicitly tell it to and I can do that by selecting check units from the calculate menu or hitting the shortcut key F8. And then you can see I do get a list of all the unit warnings that it has detected. The dollar check unit auto on and the dollar check unit auto off directives can be placed at the top of my ease code to turn this feature on and off. And actually the dollar check units directive can provide a local control about whether a, a set of equations within your equations window is checked or not. So if I put dollar check units off and then dollar check units on around a set of equations that I would like to not have unit checked. Uh, it will disable unit checking for that set of equations. So for example, here's a curve fit for the density of copper as a function of temperature. And the density here is in kilograms per meter cubed. The temperature is in Kelvin. So if I want to use this curve fit to calculate density, then my input now is temperature. And then I'll use this curve fit to calculate the density. And then I'll calculate volume and mass the way I've done before. I'm going to enter all the correct units for every variable and hit solve, uh, but what you can see now is that I am still getting a unit warning. And the reason I get this unit warning is because this curve fit includes a bunch of coefficients. And these coefficients each have units, and I don't really want to figure out and assign the units of each of these coefficients in order to get rid of this, um, this warning. And so this is a case where I'd really like to disable unit checking not for the entire equation window, but certainly for this one equation. And I can do that uh, just by putting a dollar check units off above this equation and a dollar check units on below it. And now when I solve, you can see there is no unit warnings indicated um, and I can proceed as normal. It's also possible to have ease attempt to discern the appropriate units for every variable based on the equations in which it's used and then set these units automatically. This isn't really recommended because now ease isn't really checking your unit consistency it's instead trying to force unit consistency if possible by adjusting the units of the variables but it can provide a nice shortcut for setting units uh, if you like that if you want to activate this option uh, you go to um, the options tab of the preferences window and you select set units automatically here so let's revisit uh, the same example right we're going to enter diameter length and density compute them to SI units and now we'll use the equations for volume and mass. I haven't myself set any units for any of these variables. And <clears throat> if I have selected set units automatically, when I hit solve, you'll see that Ease has determined that the units for the variable V should be meters cubed and the units for the variable M or mass should be kilogram. The units suggested by Ease here are automatically indicated in purple and that's supposed to highlight the fact that these are not units specified by you, the user. These are units that have been identified uh, internally by Ease. So what you should do now is uh, set them yourself and you can do that very easily. You should, you should right click on every variable with units shown in purple 
and verify that you agree with those units and then hit OK and what you'll see is that those units turn from purple to blue indicating that now they are uh, user specified units. You can turn this automatic unit checking on and off uh, by using the directive dollar auto set units on at the top of your ease equations window as I've done here. So this is one of a series of tutorials that is meant to describe the operation of the Ease software. Uh, if you'd like to get more information about Ease, uh, if you'd like to obtain the software or access more of these tutorials, uh, please go to the website fchart.com. Uh, these tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the Fchart website.